Okay, the flexible loop has a radius of 12 cm as and is in a magnetic field of strength 0 0.15 Tesla. The loop is grabbed at point A and B, A and B, and stretch until its area is nearly zero. Okay, if it takes 0 0.20 second to close the loop, find the magnetic field magnetic uh, magnitude of the average induced EMF in it during this time. Okay, so here we can see uh, magnetic field going into the page. Okay, this is the magnetic field. This is the magnetic field going into the page. And then this is the area. Okay, you can see this is the area. Uh, this is the area. At first, it has very large area. At first, it has very large area. But then he says that, uh, look at this statement. Uh, the, the loop is uh, grabs at point A and B and then stretch. Actually, it's not stretch. Uh, it's actually should write as compressed. Uh, should write as compressed. The area is actually compressed. Area is actually compressed until the area becomes zero. So the final area, the final area is actually zero. The final area should actually zero. Ah, uh, that's the final area. Okay. Um. Ah, uh, that's the final area. So what I can say is the magnetic flux, uh, the the area. Initially, this is the initial area, initial area, but then uh, this area will shrink. Yeah, you say it compress the area, it shrink over time, it shrink or shrink some more, shrink finally become just a dot. Uh, finally, the area is just like one dot. Understand? It's just like that's the final area, huh? The final area is just a dot. So no more magnetic flux. Understand? Ah, uh, it's string, string, string. Okay. So okay, what value do we have here? We have the initial radius. This is the initial radius, but centimeter you need to change to meter, yeah. And the magnetic field strength zero point one five Tesla. Ah, uh, final area is zero. Uh, and then uh this one, the this radius is to find the initial radius, uh, uh, initial area. Uh, this is the initial radius. Uh, this is actually called the initial radius, or we can find the initial area. Yeah, uh, initial area. <coughs> final radius is zero, so final area also zero. Yeah. Uh. Okay, zero point two second is the time taken. Uh, is the delta t time taken? So I want to find the average, the magnitude. Of the induced EMF, so just the magnitude, no no direction needed, yeah, no direction. So I want to find E induced. Ah, okay. So how to do this question? Ah, this this one is to find the induced EMF for for what? For um for uh, a coil for a coil with with uh, changing. With changing area, uh, with changing area, uh, but but with constant magnetic field. Understand? Constant magnetic field. Uh, so if you look to the formula list, okay. If you look to the formula list, uh, you will use this formula. Uh, e equal to negative n and b dA over dt. Uh, this formula. Okay. Uh, so um, uh, look okay. We use this formula. The magnetic field is uh constant. Changing is the area. Uh, area is uh decreasing. Yeah, area is decreasing. Ah, uh, so so okay. We can find uh, and then the dt is the change of time lah. Uh, so we can use that formula. Let's write down the formula. So. Uh, they all actually come from the original formula, you know. All actually come from the original formula, d phi over dt, and then we know that the flux linkage is n b a uh, cosine theta. Yeah, so we have, so we we substitute this one, 
um, uh, you know, uh, but we know that for for this case, the n equal to one, yeah, n equal to one. So we have um, uh, so that's why we have uh, this formula, uh, n equal to one. So we have uh, db, d, uh, you know, m b a, uh, cosine theta over dt n equal to one magnetic field. Magnetic field is um constant so magnetic field is constant so it can be taken out magnetic field can be taken out so n equal to one also so b left with only da over dt how about the theta uh, theta also is uh, considered to be uh, zero uh, this theta is uh, zero degree uh, because why this theta, this theta is between what angle between uh, angle between the magnetic field and the the vector A. Vector A is the normal normal of the area, isn't it? I see the normal of the area. Normal of the area is uh, going uh, you know perpendicular to this area. So it should, is the normal of this area is actually parallel to magnetic field. Uh, it's actually parallel to magnetic field. So the angle is zero. Yeah, angle is zero degree, so it's a uh, cosine zero. Uh, cosine zero degree, cosine zero is actually equal to one. <coughs> uh, okay. Cosine zero equal to one because the the normal of the area. Uh, okay, why is why is it zero degree? Uh, because uh, why is it zero? Because the normal of area is parallel to magnetic field ah because the normal 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 is the normal is the that vector a understand ah, normal is the vector a it is parallel it is parallel to b ah, it's parallel to b when parallel to b is zero degree ah, that's why cosine zero cosine zero is equal to one ah. So that's why the formula become what the formula become e induce equal to negative b d a over d t n is equal to one n disappear because n equal to one there's only one turn only one loop yeah only one loop so that's why the formula is uh or n b yeah d a over d t but the n how many loop is this ah huh? Okay, never mind. I, I leave it. I, I write at the front first. Better I write in the front first before I change anything. So I write that down first and first here. Okay. Better I write that first. Don't want to mention anything yet. Okay. Okay, this one I I put that down first. E induce equal to negative. Wait, wait. Uh negative and b ah uh, okay i follow the formula first okay uh, so uh that's why the, the formula is this one e equal to negative and b da over dt okay b the magnetic field is constant magnetic field is constant whatever changing is only the area initial area is very big and then the area string becomes zero uh, so it's changing area yeah it's changing area Changing area, constant magnetic field. Constant magnetic field, that's why the magnetic field can be taken out. But area is changing, that's why it's dA. dA over dt. Understand? Uh, okay. So, uh, yeah, that's why this formula. Yeah? Negative nB dA over dt. Okay? Uh, so, uh, but the turn is only one turn, right? Uh, the, okay. Okay, do you know why why got the induced e, induced EMF? Uh, because the area is uh, because there's a change of flux uh, there's a change of flux because the area becomes smaller and smaller means the flux is decreasing. Uh, flux decreasing means got change of flux. Got change of flux means got induced EMF. Understand? Uh, change of area. Okay, so I think only one turn, right? 
the he said the loop did he say multiple multiple turn no just one loop so n equal to one okay and then uh you can write this e induce equal to negative one magnetic field magnetic field is 0 0.15 tesla uh, and then and then this one is uh you can write as a final minus a initial divided by the delta t time taken uh, okay <coughs> okay first of all i need to find the okay I, I know final area is zero because it say string into nothingness okay the area has string into nothingness but initial area is equal to um uh, i need to use pi r square lah. pi r square so pi r what is the radius Oh, I need to change to meter. So 12 cm divided by 100, huh? not divided by 1000, divided by 100. So I get 0 0.12. 0 0.12 meter. Okay. Uh, that's right. I think I just uh, write first. Um, okay. E induce. Okay, write it down. Negative uh, 0 0.15. And then multiply. This one is 0 minus. Okay, write it down. This one area just now is pi. Um, multiply 0 0.12 square. Alright. That's right. Okay, pi r square. Huh? That's radius, right? Uh, okay, divide by the time taken. Time taken is uh, 0 0.2 second. Uh, close the loop. Huh? 0 0.2 second. So write the 0 0.2 second. Okay, I can remember the negative sign here. You must have the negative sign here. Huh? You must have the negative sign here. Okay, so calculate. Let's calculate. Yeah. So uh, pi multiply 0.12 square. Uh, okay. And then divide by 0 0.2. 0 0.2. <coughs> Apply the negative 0 0.15 negative negative positive negative negative positive okay so the answer is uh, 0 0.034 0 0.034 volt uh, that's a that's a voltage is that correct 0.034 that's correct 0 0.034 34 uh, voltage that's correct okay good that's the answer yeah so um okay so that's all for this question okay see you in the next video